Basically, one way to summarize some of that is our cells have multiple ways of creating ATP, the currency of energy in our cells. There's oxidative phosphorylation in the mitochondria. There's fermentation in the cytosol. There's lots of different details that can go into exactly how oxygen and other things like amino acids get sucked in and then converted into energy. And many people have made mistakes or assumptions about, you know, if I measure this one output, it means this is being used or that's being used. And a lot of those assumptions have been mistaken uh, in the past. And so there's been a lot of confusion generated about what means what in terms of inputs and outputs with respect to energy production in the cells. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and if you go in the textbooks, you know, it says predominantly cy uh, 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 cytosolic ATP production, uh, fermentation, and, and oxidative phosphorylation. But there's, there's what we've now broken it down by, into traditional biochemistry, we have two forms of ATP production. One is through oxidative phosphorylation uh, uh, in the in mitochondrial inner membrane through a chemo, chemoosmotic hypothesis of Peter Mitchell. Uh, and then we have substrate level phosphorylation and substrate level phosphorylation is the movement of a phosphate group to an organic molecule to produce ATP. So, so you can produce ATP with a non-oxidative process. And there's two of those. One is in the cytoplasm and one is in the mitochondria itself at the succinyl-CoA ligase reaction, uh, alpha-ketoglutarate to succinyl-CoA to succinate. And you get, everybody said, oh, it's GTP. In cancer, it's ATP. And, and they make a buttload of it in, in, in the tumor metabolism and they're dumping out succinic acid. Let me, let me give you, uh, and people in the heart field, uh, the cardiovascular field knew, knew about this, but never, never turned it over to the cancer field. For example, when individuals have heart attacks, uh, what you see right after the heart attack is a buildup of lactic acid and succinic acid in the bloodstream. And those are the fermentation fuels that are compensating for the acute loss of oxidative phosphorylation. And your, your, your neurons need to have a, 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 a proton mode of grading. They need a, a, an electrical a, a process across the membrane. Otherwise, they're going to die. They, they cannot compensate for loss of oxphos chronically to upregulate uh, substrate mm -hmm. level phosphorylation. So what happens is that you build up this massive amount of, of succinic acid and lactic acid, 